Stasa 23 here in today's night therapy. I have the Kaiser XL bag lighter. This knife comes in at $94. However, you can get 10% off if you get it at Mojave Outdoors using my code knife therapy. I will have all that in the description of this video. Now let's get some specs out of the way of the bag lighter. I got two different variations here. This was White Mountain Knives exclusive and this is the one that is currently available. So we'll move this one off to the side. You have a total length of nine inches, so it's a full-size EDC knife. It's a large EDC knife. You have a blade length of 3.87 inches, a cutting edge of 3.7 inches, handle scale thickness of 0.54, a close width in the pocket from here to here of 1.22 inches, blade stock thickness of 0.12 inches, and the behind-the-edge thickness on my particular knife is around 17 thousandths, sharpened at 20 degrees per side. Now let's take a look at this. You have this nice, beautiful drop point, or you could call that a spear point blade, whatever you want to call it, of 154 cm. And Kaiser does a pretty good job with their 154 cm. Uh, it usually holds a really good edge. It's a stainless steel. And uh, this particular one has the black wash finish, and that's another thing. I, whenever I get a black finish from Kaiser, I much prefer their black wash. I think it looks nice, and it holds up to wear really, really well. You have a nice top swedge that goes all the way down to that tip, thinning it out a little bit, but it's not its not a dainty tip. You still have a good bit of meat behind there if you need to you know, do some boring in the wood or you want to do some detail work with that tip or pierce into the potato chip bag. Uh, you have a nice sharpening troll that does clear that plunge, as you can see there. You have a uh, nice long row of jimping that you know should accommodate your large extra large hands as well and i'd say it probably offers about medium traction uh, not something that bothers me any but you know if you love jumping it's about medium it's not super fine cut and it's a little bit rounded over on the top you have a high flat ground blade that comes down to pretty thin edge why don't we test that edge and see how well it performs knife came pretty sharp and you have a good bit of edge to work with with a great dual blade shape it performed well and uh, the, it didn't really struggle at all with the cardboard one thing that i can say for certain though is after the first few sharpenings your edge retention will increase a pretty good bit Now to the pine 2x4 to test the ergos and how that edge is still biting. The edge felt pretty good and I slowly started to increase the pressure into the wood and I found that the hammer grip was the most comfortable and wow was I able to get a lot of force behind that cut. Um, the ergos felt pretty good overall but would have been a little bit more comfortable with a little bit thicker handle and contoured scales but as they said I, I i had no issues with it slicing on a flat surface was no issue at all for this nice drop point blade the edge still felt pretty darn good and uh, the pinch grip was very comfortable however you definitely need to be mindful of your hand placement to ensure you're not squeezing down on the button lock you don't want to disengage it uh, i didn't i didn't have any issues with that but just something to note i did notice that the black blade did cause a little bit of drag when i get to this tubing right here not not a whole lot once i got the the cut started it was uh it was a it was fine when i got to the 12 ounce denim I noticed uh, that the edge still has a good bit of bite, and you'll see that in just a second. Good thing about having almost a four inch blade or longer, you have a lot more cutting edge to work with. So if you're starting to doll out one section, you can just you know move to the next section. You can't really do that so much on the flat surface because you're cutting down on it, so you're using just that belly. But, you know, as you can see here, like I said before, it's doing just fine. Uh, it's it's going through this denim without a problem whatsoever which is always a good sign for that edge the edge feels like it still has a good bit of bite but the true test will be through the twisted sisal rope and now to the half inch twisted sisal rope 
After the first uh, cut through the sisal rope, you can determine if that edge still has a good bit of bite to it. And yep, it felt really, really good going through the rope. Uh, the larger blade having more mass also made it pretty easy to get through the uh, rope with not a whole lot of downward pressure. Most of the cuts were push cuts and uh, that edge just kept feeling good. So I, I wanted to try to cut this whole entire piece of rope that I had cut and um, it ended up making 41 cuts rather easily and that edge still felt really good all the way to the end. We will test it in just a second. All right, I hope you enjoyed that cutting. Let's check out this edge now after all that cutting. Got a little small snag, but I'll tell you what, if I cut fast, it's got a little bit better than, you know, your average working edge, but you do have a few small hangups there. Uh, not bad at all. You got one right there. And let's see. Yeah, it might've just been the way I was cutting. But regardless, I think that's a really good edge. Now let's talk about the deployment and action. The uh, knife is riding on cage ceramic ball bearings. You got a well-designed flipper tab that's not pokey. It does have two little jimps up there. Uh, grabs a hold of the finger nicely. Uh, the light switch, pull back, but it works great. Fires out. And if you want to put your finger up there and do a push button, you can. But I find it, it works a lot better with the light switch. At least for me, it does. And of course, once you depress that button lock, it's a free dropper. I mean, no friction whatsoever. Very nicely done. Now let's take a look at these handle scales and hardware. You have a T8 pivot, T8 on the body screws. You have T6 on the clip screws. The screws are countersunk, however, the clip is not. Uh, you have a deep carry pocket clip that is tip up left or right handed. Let's check it out in the pocket. I found that the clip works good. You got enough ramp there. And I'll tell you, for such a big knife, it carries nicely, especially in pants. And that's all that you have sticking out. It does hug this side. You do have a flipper tab that would rub against anything that you have in the pocket, but not something that bothers me in the least. Your handle scales on this are uh, linen micarta, black linen micarta that have a nice soft texture to them. I love that. Very, very nice. I love Kaiser's micarta. Now they are flat, as you can see, but you do have a chamfer that goes all the way around and they uh, have knocked off any of the hard edges. So it was fairly comfortable in hand. Um, coarse contoured and a little bit thicker would have been even more comfortable, but as I said, it was just fine. You do have a ginormous window hole, window hole right here for a lanyard. Um, Let's open it up and take a look at the inside. You have flow through construction with two hourglass standoffs over here in the back. You could easily blow this out with compressed air or clean it out with a Q-tip. You do have some internal milling on both the top and bottom scales. Very nicely done to save on weight. Let's check it out on the scale. First off in grams, 194.3 grams and 5.05 ounces, which like I said, it carries nicely, felt good in the pocket. Now let's take a look at this button lock. You do have a recessed area right here, so you don't accidentally depress the uh, button and disengage that lock. The lock up on mine is solid, no side to side, no uh, up and down, very, very solid lock up on this one. Now, if you do happen to get any sort of up and down play, a lot of times it's because your spring tension on the button isn't as strong and you could easily stretch that uh, coil spring just a hair and increase the tension. Uh, I haven't had any issues with this one, but I have had issues on other button locks. My particular example has absolutely no button stick. I mean, super, super smooth. And usually I find that uh, the ones that do have button stick have that extra pressure on this uh, spring. And uh, once it, you know, once that spring gets compressed enough, I notice it goes away. Now for some quick size comparisons, we have the XL Sheepdog by Kaiser and the Best Tech Swordfish. The Sheepdog is a, just a hair longer, but you have more cutting edge on the XL bag lighter. And on the Best Tech Swordfish, very similar in overall length and feel in hand as well. 
Next up, you have the Cold Steel Recon 1 and the Ontario Rat Model 1. It's The Recon 1's a little bit longer in overall dimensions, but you have more cutting edge than the Recon 1. The Ontario Rat Model 1 is a little bit shorter, and you definitely have more cutting edge than the Rat 1. And lastly, we have the Spyderco PM2 and the Civivi Conspirator. Both of these are a little bit shorter than the XL bag letter. All right, now for my nitpicks and complaints. Really, I just got a few nitpicks. Um, like I said, I, the clip would have been nice to have it uh, countersunk into the scales, like the screws, just so you don't have any chances of anything getting hung up there. Um, I would have loved to see a hollow grind on this. It's already ground decently thin, but man, oh man, can you imagine almost four inch uh, hollow ground blade on this? Ooh, it would have been nice, kind of like on the mini roach. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Um, and the clip is pretty far down. I wish they would have used this screw like I've seen, you know, many companies do. Use that screw right there as the first uh, screw hole. That way it would have been right in the center. Um, I didn't have any, you know, severe hot spots, but I could definitely feel it. And other, other hand sizes may feel it even more. So, like I said, just nitpicks there. Um, and I guess you call that a minor complaint. But overall, I love the knife. At $94, I think it's an excellent, excellent value for what you're getting here and one that I could highly, highly recommend. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Boop, 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 boop.